cool. Uh, so the bar isn't open yet because it's it's 4:30. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm just gonna do this this video now before I get all all hammered. Um, I'm working on it though, you know vacation and even if it wasn't it's Friday and even if it wasn't Friday fuck it I'm single and don't have kids so I can get drunk whenever I please all right so I answered a lot of the questions from the the part three road trip and whatever I answered those and like I said I, I posted a video but it did uh it, it, the audio cut out halfway through or something so for those of you that sat through it I guess the audio cut out like 10 minutes in and uh, now I'm gonna re-answer the question so we'll find out how full of shit I am because I don't quite remember I mean I wasn't hammered or anything but I don't really remember what I said answering the questions before and now I'm gonna answer them again so it might be completely different answers I don't know um, the way I do these videos, I just write down whatever you ask, and then I just do it on, you know, I don't take time to think about what I'm going to say or anything, so. With that said, let's start this. First question is, how much weed are you going to smoke in Colorado? Uh, none, because I'm in the military. Um, I just can't smoke weed, so that kind of sucks. I mean, I would like the option to. I, I would have if I was not in the military, but sadly, can't do it. Um, next question. What's your favorite non-alcoholic drink and alcoholic drink? My favorite non-alcoholic drink, I, I think like chocolate milk. <laughs> um, that suits me well. I like chocolate milk a lot. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't really like, uh, I like root beer, um, but I don't really think too much on that. I think I said lemonade in my last video. <laughs> I mean, lemonade's pretty damn good, too. Alcoholic drink, um, I like basically any beer. I really do. I'm not a big fan of Guinness or dark beers. Um, I, uh... I really like Blue Moon, even though it makes me shit my asshole out of my asshole. And I, uh, I really like Dos Equis. Dos Equis has been my go-to recently. Um, for liquor, I don't really drink a whole lot of liquor because it just, it's unpleasant to me. The amount of liquid I intake when I'm drinking, um, they can't, it's gotta be beer. I gotta, I gotta have a nice steady ride through the night. I can't you start slamming liquor and the next thing you know I'm calling my mom and fucking puking in the toilet it's not good uh, but when I do drink liquor, Jack and Coke uh, I'll probably have a few of those tonight what is the most significant character transformation slash paradigm shift slash change in philosophy you've gone through and what was the reason for it uh, I've had two or three that I can really remember. Uh, the first one when I, was when I was like 18, and uh, well, I, may, I think more like 16 or 17. I was still in high school, and uh, I, I, my parents meant well. They meant well uh, putting me on Concerta, which is an attention deficit disorder uh, medication, which I totally have ADD, but that's whatever. It's just I, I have a lot of things I'm interested in, and I know what I'm interested in and what I'm not interested in. So I can sit and focus on something given if, if I have the amount of time and if I know that that's what I need to do, but my mind doesn't just work in one lane. Like, it's... You see how I just got distracted on that? That's how my mind works. It's like, oh, let's do something over here, and how about over here? But I know when to, to shut that shit down and pick a fucking lane. Now, I probably didn't know that when I was like 16 or 17, so uh, I was I was failing, I was fucking failed PE. I think that was the last straw. I think <laughs> I think the last straw for my parents was I failed PE like three times, and they were like, fuck you, you're getting on some medication. And it worked, like I got uh, straight A's, I think, that, that next semester, but I was super depressed all the time. And through that, I kind of figured out that being depressed being sad and stuff isn't necessarily a bad thing because you you learn a lot through it and 
almost it almost is better in some way and the way I was living my life up to that point was very carefree just like yeah whatever fuck it and uh that was the first like paradigm shift I went through and then I got really too serious like I got I thought all of a sudden I was a fucking philosopher so that's what caused the first one I think the second one I got uh I got dumped um by this chick I was dating for like three years and I got dumped in a pretty fucked up way but that's neither here nor there but I went through a shift then because it was I had already planned my whole uh existence my whole future life around this person and I'd uh I just knew where my life was going and then it immediately it just like got taken away so I had to figure shit out again and it, it was again one of those super depressing times and super uh on the surface super bad but I look back on it and I'm like, God damn, I learned a lot. And that's actually how I met Blaze B, who fucking weird enough is the dude who asked the question. Um, and that paradigm shift was more about <clears throat> relearning who I was and what I want to do. And um, I tried out a lot of stuff at that time. I tried setting up a music festival. I tried being like a fucking promoter or manager. None of that shit got very far. But I was trying on different hats. I was trying to figure out who I was again and what I wanted to do. Because when you have your identity wrapped up so much with one person, um, it, it if that person leaves, then you're not, you've got to figure it out again. So that might have been the biggest one, biggest change in philosophy or paradigm shift or whatever, because that led me to where I'm at now, which is I'm completely fine with myself. I mean, I... I have a very, uh, I wouldn't say a poor image of myself, but I know who I am. I know I'm gross. I know, uh, I'm, I'm I drink too much. I know, uh, I know my limits and boundaries and all that shit. And I also know I'm not really a big fan of, of being with even any, any one person for more than a few days. It, it bothers me. Like, I just gotta get out and I gotta, like, fucking be in a room by myself eventually. And I think all of those things together are things that I learned during that time. And that's uh, created me. It was me, the artist, fucking, if you could call it that. Me, the fucking dude who's in the military working on a fucking graduate degree. Like, all that stuff I learned about myself during that time. And uh, the most recent paradigm shift or change in philosophy, whatever you want to call it, is uh, I've been trying to be nicer to peeper pe peeper <laughs> yeah i'm nicer to peepers uh no i'm trying to be more uh friendly to people nicer to people um not really on the surface not just because i've always been polite like i can meet someone for one day and you would think i'm the friendliest kindest dude in the world then a week later you're like get him the fuck out of my house <laughs> um but i mean really actually trying to care about fellow human beings, not just the people in my circle of friends or the people that I know, um, just everybody in general, because I've kind of tried to adopt this humanistic approach to uh, how I view the world, which is basically, um, to quote Joe Rogan, like, we're on a rock floating through outer space. And that really is what's happening. <laughs> that's what's happening right now. It might not feel like it, but that's what's going on. There's a whole fucking universe out there. And it's, it's incomprehensibly big, and it might not be the only universe. It might be millions and billions of other universes that split off into other fucking universes. We don't know. But what I do know is that I'm a human, and I have a an interest in keeping humans alive, the species, keeping us, I wouldn't say we're progressing, I'd say in some ways we're progressing, that's what's interesting about humans, we're kind of, we're progressing in certain areas and then regressing in others, and my, I want, I want humans to be able to exist for a long, long, long time and figure out the mysteries of the universe, I know I'll be long dead, but, um, so, basically the recent change that I've tried to make and that I've seen some successful results in has been uh 
not making this whole life thing about me anymore. Because it's really not. I mean, there are certain things that are me. My music is me. My, uh, that's about it. (laughs) My music, um, whatever it is, my goal that I'm working on at that point, that's me stuff. But just how I view and approach life in general, I've been trying to make it less about me as a person and more about like understanding how every everybody else works and try to view how people work together if that makes any sense and that paradigm shift uh i don't know what happened i don't a lot of it was probably from hanging out in chicago with with like blaze and decat because the way that i saw them view the world and the way their life works is they were able to uh, basically, what they say is, you can't, you can't change what's going to happen, but you can, you have an ability to react to it. So, however you react to it is all on you. Like, whatever happens outside your like lotus of control, then uh, you can't change any, any of that. But you can change how you see it and how you react. And I know that sounds cheesy on the surface. However, when you see people actually living by that, uh, it's it's really kind of mind-opening for somebody who's like me, who, I mean, I've kind of been trained since day one that this whole thing is about me. <laughs> um, that, especially going through business school and stuff, you just learn, you know, fuck other people, this is about me, and this is about me getting ahead in life. So... Um, Oddly enough, I think two out of my three big paradigm changes uh, had a lot to do with Blaze B. And that's who asked the question. Life is weird, isn't it? Um, I've got more questions, but I'm coming up on the 15-minute mark, so I guess we'll make this one a uh, another part. All right.